That is very familiar music, and there will be a musical event tonight, the restored version of George Gershwin's masterpiece, Rhapsody in Blue, with newly discovered portions, will have its New York premiere. It'll be heard here for the first time in its entirety since George Gershwin himself first played it in New York nearly 80 years ago. Renowned pianist Jeffrey Beagle, who no less than Leonard Bernstein called splendid and brilliant, Leonard Bernstein called him splendid and brilliant. He was instrumental in discovering the lost notes, and he's going to play them tonight at Lincoln Center. And in just a few moments, he'll give us a preview as well. This is interesting. When it was first performed, when Gershwin first performed it, it was in the original long version. That's right. Now, we in television are used to having to cut things for time. People will always say, I know you should talk to him for five minutes, but we've only got four minutes and 30 seconds. But they took some of the music out because of time? Well, I believe it's because he premiered it, uh, finished writing it January 7, 1924, and gave the uh, hand manuscript to Freddie Grofet to orchestrate. And the original measures are both in uh, the two scores. And uh, musicologist Alicia Zizzo was instrumental in comparing the scores and restoring the manuscript. And uh, the publishers back then, you know, Gershwin was not with the major classical publishing houses. Mm -hmm. He was a musical theater kind of guy. And they thought, well, let's tighten up the structure, take this out, take that out, tighten it up with the band. He played with the Paul Whiteman band. Did he really? So that was what it, the concert was. How long, how long is Rhapsody in Blue? I, my guess is it's 20 minutes long? It's a little under. And well, the extra measures just really add another minute and a half or so to it, but it holds the piece together. It's the, you know, rhapsody in Greek means to sew. And now all the connective tissue was put back in to hold the piece together. There's a lot of critics said he's not a great composer, good melodies, not a great composer, until uh, the concerto in F a year and a half later. And it was surprising that the concerto in F was such a fantastically orchestrated and put together piece. But here they have missing measures to the rhapsody. Now, now you know classical music far better than, than, than we. I love to listen to it, but my ear is essentially untrained. Does restoring, it's 88 bars, is it? Does restoring that minute and a half, 88 bars, really change the structure of the piece of music, make it, in your mind, better? I believe it's more cohesive, so there isn't stop, new section, stop, new section. There's now material, it's mostly in the solo piano sections that hold the piece together. The orchestration is basically the same. Mm. Where were those? 88 bars. Were they everywhere in pieces of music, or did you have to actually discover them, like finding an old copy of the Declaration of Independence or something? Uh, I believe Alicia found them in the original handwritten manuscript and compared the facsimile of the orchestrated manuscript that Freddie yeah. Gofay did. And, and where so was that original? Was it in the Library of Congress, or yeah. was it really? Yeah. Ah. So you've, you've performed this a few times, yes. uh, but this is the first time in New York, and we New Yorkers are, uh, you know, provincial enough. We figure if it hasn't been done here, it hasn't been done. That's and, true. And you're going to perform it with? The American Symphony tonight with uh, Bakhtang Jordania conducting. And on the program is Ellen Tafes Willick's Peanuts Gallery, a tribute to Charles Schultz. Oh, how nice. And a world premiere of the Islam A fantasy that I transcribed for piano and orchestra. Uh, and where will this be? Avery Fisher Hall. Ah, terrific. Okay, so you're going to give us a little preview, mm -hmm. and we'll hear some of the familiar themes from Rhapsody in Blue, but also we're going to hear some or all of the 88 bars. What you'll hear in the beginning part is the missing sections, right. and the finale as we know it in the solo version, and the last few measures are going to be different, not the usual chords. It's right. a different ending, like a banjo effect, and you'll hear it a little bit in the original version. Mr. Beagle, Thank wonderful you. to have you here. Thank you.
Thank you.